Not a chat draft. Here we go. Pick the fourth one. It's insane. Second is good, but only if something is dead, which is not a guarantee in uh, Arena. I suppose I can give my idea on that. Oh, this is insane. Fourth is risky, third is dumb, uh, second is like the choice if you want me to lose. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a 10, this is a question mark, well actually you don't even run into that many good cards in arena, but these these are actually just like luster, clearly below 5, and this is a 0. 4. Nobody can resist the succubus. So we should pick the total trash card over the auto win card. Oh my god. It's a tie right now. Oh no no, it's actually Wandergrift is winning, okay. Well, this is a tough one. Obviously th these are useless. So you either have to decide like... Can you find this stuff? Well, it should be too, shouldn't be too hard. Like, Encrypt Warcryer this is actually good with um, Sabbat. So... And Berserk is only good if he, if it actually gets hit, which is uh, pretty damn rare, so Warcry is the best here. Easy one. You guys talking about these ones? It would be helpful. Okay, sure, we're gonna take the bomb. It's not that much worse. Well, this is a 17, this is a 12. Very situationally better than that. The other ones are complete garbage. Uh oh. I don't like the look of that. You guys want another auto lose arena? The problem with this approach, and I don't want to assign Viney, that if you just give me a bunch of cards that are completely trash, then we just end up playing a game where you just like, hey I got a 3, hey I got a 4, hey I got a 2, hey I got a 5, and ultimately we got zero synergy, zero fun, we, I just play a bunch of crap and we lose by 100 points. So it's, it's kind of hard. Well, we just have to take this guy. Easy pick. Even if this works, it's not worth it. Oftentimes. If it's Moran, you can play around that. Teruviel is like... Okay, makes him a slightly above average. If it kills like a sapper, it's not even worth it. Killing a sapper is not even worth it. Uh, what else? Killing a Malena that would get full value. That's the only thing that's worth it. And the Moran Forest Child. Easy Yen. Yen is not worth it. If you if you uh, think about the maps, it's not worth it. The most reliable one is Shiro here. That's a 14. That's a value generation. But it could be risky because it gets removed. Uh... I don't know. Having uh, some versatility is not the worst. So I I'm actually open to going with uh, Dora Garai here. But yeah, having 14 and 18 removal is decent as well. You guys want the, the waves? I would take Life Coach here. Uh, this is just trash selection. We take the rider for points. That's a four, that's a 19. Uh, that's a very situational 18. It needs to have a bunch of guys dead. 
Hand Marvin again doesn't work, and Big Dumb Dragon actually works works against you. So it's a very easy K run. Why Ham Marvin? Some of you voted that. Because it's the only card that's gonna give me zero value. <laughs> Last round. Unless we just are forced to play first two rounds. And uh, gotta see a... Well, it's a tie right now. Between Kayron and Blue Dream. Oh. Kairon, you plebs? Oh! Kairon, Kairon won! Oh, crap. I was scared of that. So, yeah, this is a lot better. Uh, highest enemy, that's, that's an extra, but like, this is like foreign removal. That's easily the choice here. Uh, this is a potential 20. Uh, 15. Had Marvin again. Old Spirit is the best. It's not that bad. I don't know why you guys want the blue dream. You guys just... <laughs> wanna make sure that I have a card in my hand that has zero value. Easy art. Art is not that valuable right now. Uh, all spirit is better. You just, you guys just can't resist. Like, oh, there's a card there that has zero value, baby. We gotta draft it. Oh, it's a, it's a tie. Okay, I'm going with the next one. Between all spirit tip, I I just lost way too many games because you guys want to draft. Cards that are actually not necessarily even zero value, but like minus value. Like Leto. Third? Art? Why art? Mm. Okay, I guess we can go with Han Marvin just for the lull of it. But why not? This is a 15. That probably makes the most sense. We don't have a better clear here. We're gonna go with that. Easily the best choice. Also the most fun. Uh, that's good. Putting back stuff not that relevant. Marigold Hellstorm could be actually good in the long round. That's not a that's not a bad idea. But in arena we actually see less power and a lot of golds, so it doesn't hit the golds. So I guess it needs to be Osrel. Easy Osrel. Easiest Osrel of my life. Oh, that's actually extremely strong. Lacerate or or Trebuchet. It's it's easier to get value from the Lacerate. I feel like. Mhm. Mm These are both both excellent in a long round. Last way for Triss. Alright. Well, it's gotta be this one. Gives us uh, extra points for last round. Just in case. This guy's not terrible. But Barbie guys, it gives us options. Carry over. A Silver Mage is a must. Well, we still have a. Uh, use a card that has zero value. <sighs> That's terrible. So we got Stefan here. So this is a 13, this is a 10. But it already makes sense. Well, 15 potentially. I suppose with Dandelion Port we can draw into it. This is a 12. Stefan Skellen is the best here. It's it's not even a choice. <laughs> Easy Lambert. You guys just can't resist all the trash cards. All 
Alright. Seems to be pretty undecided on that. Okay, this is good. 12 and the Vedic Hunter. We're gonna take the Vedic Hunter. And uh, 11. Yeah, the Cyclops is representing removal. This is actually uh, really good in a long round. Ultimately, this is the one thing that they uh, need to work on Arena. One thing that uh, Hearthstone did do is that they changed the Arena format so the cards are are close to each other. Now, Cleaver represents like 17. This represents inconsistent, like, I don't know, 12 average, maybe. This is useless. Uh, and this is a uh, 12. So, I mean, like, this is not even close. Like, auto pick, rest of the mech garbage. Do do please. You guys want what? Do they go with doo-doo? Cleaver. You could have two crowns already. If you took the first one. Crowns. Uh Yeah. That's not how it works. I guess I'm gonna go with doo doo. The dwarf. Wait, what? I guess you guys want Cleave uh, Dudu instead. Mergo's Hailstorm. We're not gonna take that. We're gonna take Gremis Dolly here. That's actually good too, but we need Vedic Hunters. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the Vicovaro Medic. Like, literally, there is like no decision involved. Um, I think we gotta go with Last Wish. Yarpen is something we can use, just like Barbagazi in a way. But Barbagazi actually also kills stuff for the goals and the Azrael, just in case. And Yarpen is somewhat. I think it's gonna be last wish. And the leader is gonna be... Damn. It's not that... Not that good. So, we don't have really a choice here. It's gonna be King Rider with the fifth. Edwin Blake breaks glass. Rider with easy ready daddy. Here we go. So, we gotta be a bit careful here. Uh, we got a horse, that's great. Uh, that's trash. Uh, we got some Vedic Hunter, that's great. Uh, that's that's trash. So we just uh, played the game of uh, bullying away with the trash. And uh, we have uh, Dandelion Poet. So we are kind of fine. I'm optimistic. I give it a uh, six win. We don't really have a good finisher. So I think that's the problem. Blue Dream is OP OP. Or not so much because you get zero value. I can eat that. Right? Siri, you're not exactly a Karen Slayer. But respect for playing that card, I suppose. An extraordinary plan. Oh, <gasps> yes! We can use it on the Han Marvin Blue Dream. Wait, what? No, no, no. Actually, I can play Siri. Shoe, Cleaver. 
Azrael, Gramis, the Baya. Don't know what I want to put at the top. The revolution is inevitable, merely a matter of time. I think it's gotta be Shiro. Just because it's a gold card. Why shoot at the bottom of the deck list and went up? I think you can maybe f flip it around. They're just bronzes, silvers, golds. That's how it goes. Random cards. I can't wait to get randomly scorched right now. I'm a dwarf of business. Okay. If only we had Cleaver here and not Doo Doo. Like, if you guys give me cards like this, I'm just gonna <laughs> treat it to the good old scrap that and get a random card. It's sad they cannot be used. We can lock that. I've had men killed for less. Oh, that's not good. I suppose I can gain some tempo with this. So that's like a 12... Nah, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a 13 point play at this point. Doesn't want to lose a card. I guess he can. We can play his Shillard. Now we are behind. So if losing spawn a, spawn a Montecore, which is just fine. Actually, exactly what I want. More lacerates. I shall not fail. Great. Well, I suppose I'm just gonna play Molena because we gotta play something. Probably gonna follow up with my better counter. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm not terribly happy about that. Actually, these are not that amazing right now. But this could have something else. I guess I'm gonna go for Vandergrift here. Halt! Don't retreat! Damn it! It's only a 12. I could have played it earlier. I can do a great deal more for you. Alright, never mind that. I will not let this become a second Sodom. Yep. That's probably gonna be round one. So, let's see what we gotta do. Round three. We have a Shiro. Okay. Guess I'm gonna play Shillard. That's all we got. That shield could be awkward. With pleasure. Okay. Oh, my lumbago is active. <laughs> Please play something big. Wait, what? Can't even kill it. He's gonna lacerate my dudes. Take this, Sabat. That was weird. Hey, Spectra. GG.